water into my eyes to be strong and weak. It's a joyous day for graduates of the 18th counseling class and their instructors from the National Sickle Cell Foundation. Among them are doctors, nurses, social workers, and others from all over the country and beyond. Two weeks of intensive training in counseling methods for people with sickle cell disorder and people who are at risk of having children with the condition have come to an end. It's not a day for speeches, but the national director and chief executive officer of the foundation reiterates her expectations for continuity. I, I know that this, when you go back to your various locations, you talk about this program, not just talk about it, you train others. We're also looking out for the opportunity, we're looking at a few of you who will come and support the core trainers. <laughs> Staff and students are particularly pleased because it's been five years since the last training was held. Participants get certificates. Prizes also go to three outstanding students. Sickle cell is the most common inherited hemoglobin disorder. It causes anemia and other unpleasant and sometimes life-threatening conditions. According to the foundation, in Nigeria, it affects two out of every 100 newborns, and it persists because carriers who are not affected bear children with the disorder. Counseling, therefore, is a major aspect of its management. Genetic counseling is the provision of accurate, full, unbiased information in a caring relationship that offers guidance but allows the individual and, and the affected individual and their families to make their own decisions. I have learned earnestly with compassion on how to take care of these ones. And for these already known carriers of these disorders, there are so many people out there who are not even known. The Sickle Cell Foundation hopes to have more regular counseling classes to churn out graduates who will train others around the country so that the huge sickle cell burden in Africa will be better managed.